Hi, I'm Daniel and this is Asheville Weekly, episode 33. I'm turning into a consultant who consults on consultancy with two full days of meetings this week. The forecast is rain, grey skies, doom and gloom. So I'm thinking about building the Asheville Arc and trying to save two of each machine. And meanwhile, at the end of this week, we'll be filming for something which will not be on the Asheville YouTube channel. Dun, dun, dun. Filming is going very well. It looks like a lot, man. This, yeah, this, this, big. this, then it's too big. That's great content. Keep rolling. We have a sound engineer and a director here today. Are you watching since we started? Yeah. I've got my own channel. I need to bang that in the top corner. Yeah? I'm going to be in and out all day. I didn't have a belt on. If the price was right, we would do it. Show him the dimensions. Huge. And I don't want to get any more stains on my white shirt. Like putty. Stay with me. We are definitely going on a journey. What, what I'll probably do when we green. do the hoarding on this side, we'll probably paint the hoarding green, mm. like the like we don't. We'll put signs. Yeah. Uh, we'll have all the safety signs. Do not enter. Da, 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 da. But we, we yeah. But we need to. We this. We don't want to upset the people on day one. So where we can round here, we'll paint the hoarding green. We'll have as many signs as possible. But the entrance area, the entrance area, we'll paint black. On the site, our containers and everything like that, we'll paint those black. Like we'll go for our full branding mm -hmm. inside the site. Inside the site, full branding, everything like that. But here, the people like they're That's just gonna they're gonna be yeah they're gonna be up in arms. Like we need to try and keep the, the earth element with it. So if we come in here, office mm -hmm. containers. If we section it off, we put the parking area like here. But there's gonna be a problem with the levels here because this went up. Yeah. Make it safe. Yeah, temporary cover. power, temporary yeah. electrics, men's and women's toilets, safe pedestrian walkways. Set the site up so it's completely ready. While that's being done then they can do the stage four, stage five construction drawings. We'll have a look at the levels. It just depends because the, the trouble is a 1.5 ton digger, it's not gonna do much with the levels here. No. You'll be here, the you'll fence, be here for yeah, us. Yeah, we'll be the phone. The first we have to sort out the trees, yeah? Okay. Because maybe Bushes, some of them be on the way, yeah? Is there, do you know if there's any TPOs in this area? Well, the, the, all of them are marked to keep. No way. No, yeah, all of them, so. You even yeah. can park there, yeah? Because if they make it like three meters from the tree, Three meter from this tree, three meter from this tree. Okay. Right, Unless we move the offices down and people park here as soon as they come in. Mm. So they have to go here, we make a safe walkway. So you walk to the offices, yeah. you have to sign in, then you enter the site through here. Yeah. Unless we do it like that. And then we put the hoarding is around, but we put Harris fencing all down the side here, put netting on it as well. So it's not as easy to see through. Mm -hmm. Just turn the photocopy on you. The oh, trouble yeah. is this site has only one phase at the yeah. moment and these houses need three phase yeah. so um, straight away that's a utility upgrade let me get the plan first for the under for the underground uh, services drainage it. everything yeah. yeah i keep telling you don't panic yeah. you've got the service it's a six yeah, yeah. six months exactly. yeah. monday and i'm in the yard uh, we're just going through the plans of the job which i showed you last week this is directly in the way of where a house is being built so we will have to get rid of this completely guys um, bit of a site meeting here. I'm saying to the boys, don't panic, relax. Everything is under control. I was like, oh, no, no, no. we're not starting it tomorrow. Yeah, we're just getting ready. Oh yeah, and uh, and a ticket. <laughs> yeah, and a, and, a, and, a, and a parking ticket. You see the boys always in the city of London, yeah? This is what happens. I'm not used to all this. There's no parking down there. I'm not used to all of this. Love talking about the new job that's coming and the progression, natural progression. Always great within a company. And in life as well. Remember before I had the lawnmower 3.0? Well, now there's a lawnmower 4.0. And as I was just talking about cleaning a load of bushes and cutting down trees, it's very fitting. You can even change your blades by just clicking them out. I wish it was that easy to change your blades on the loading shovel. Unlike my loading shovel, this has skin safe technology, which limits nicks and cuts. If you want 20% discount on manscaped.com, click on the link in the description and use the code ASHVILLE20. Thank you High Life, which is part of the Southern Grove group. They have sent me my two 65 inch, I, well, I call it QLED, Will says QLED TVs. Uh, these are the TVs that are gonna be going up in my office. So thank you very much guys, check out High Life. Uh, great brand, they do loads of high-end bespoke work and I believe they've done some of the most expensive properties in the world. And thank you very much, Andrew Southern, who you've seen me interview in the past. The reason I'm interviewing Andrew today, other than him being a great friend of mine, is I'm inundated on different platforms with people asking me about the property industry. 
So Daniel, I, mm -hmm. I ask you to, to leave 700, 700 and one meter here. What don't you understand? Because I didn't know the size, you know? Okay, he's saying he changed it. So what's the size of the room now? The length which you gave me originally. I didn't change the length of the room, so I, I just know, added so. in the gap. Something needs to be bigger or smaller. So what you're saying is, if you add up 900, this, yeah, this, then this, big. this, then it's too big. All right, someone grab a calculator. 8,000, take away 710, yeah? Mm -hmm. Take away nine... Nine five. What? Nine nine five. Nine nine five, yeah? A Take thousand. away a thousand. Yeah. Take away 700, yeah? One nine five. R unless I you did that at 900 and not seven two something and all of these are slight. Or that isn't that and that, unless that is a meter and not 2.4. Yeah. I was in yesterday going through the first draft of the basement salvage video. Uh, it took me about four hours. I made a lot of notes for it. Uh, when you've been filming something over a number of months, uh, when you finally have to go back through it and put it all together, sometimes it can be a bit confusing. Every time you saw me go to site in weekly and I talked about the basement and what we're doing, I did a second round of filming, which was a lot more detail for the main video. Now we're going back through everything, trying to put it together. But we have to understand there's a different concept and mentality and strategy behind the main video. So the main videos should have a lot more montage and it should have a lot more technical information, whereas weekly is more fly on the wall vlog following what I'm doing. So it's a mighty long video with a lot to go through and we're doing a lot going back, searching for footage, bringing it back in, restructuring, moving it around. So um, we definitely will not be bringing you that video this week on Wednesday, hopefully next week Wednesday. Do you mind? What? I'm filming. Unless you want, do you want to do my job? It looks like you want to do my job. Oh, well, the way you, I thought you wanted... I thought you wanted to do no, no problem, no problem. Hi, I'm Terry, and this is Asheville. <laughs> uh, it's Monday afternoon, we're in the yard. <laughs> Some of us have been here all day. <laughs> it's like when people say they went to the gym. They said, did so-and-so go to the gym? I said, yeah, he went to the gym, but I can't tell you he trained. Yeah? <laughs> Was the person at work? Yeah, they were at work, but I can't tell you if they actually worked. There's a difference. Uh, the LH60 bucket was collected earlier today. Will, show that on screen here. Show a bit of that. Yeah. I don't know how much footage you've got, guys. Yeah, showing it, showing it. Vesha, feel free to come past. Thank you. Vesha is my house. Will, let Vesha pass, please. Yeah, there we go. I just wait, thank you. <laughs> we had a, uh, had a little incident the other day when... Uh, Vesha did something very good and she came upstairs and Terry said, uh, yes, Vesha, rude girl. And she went, uh, why are you saying I'm rude? And Terry was like, no, 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 rude girl is a good thing. She went, well, how could I be a rude girl and it be good? It means I've got no manners. And Terry then had to explain to her uh, the street meaning of it and then Vesha then understood. So Vesha is now happy to be a rude girl. Let's go and have a look at my office. I'm going to show Bartek some plans, show him the dimensions so he can tell me that it cannot be like this. And everything is now in the wall and you'll be dropping the shower tray soon, no? Yes, first we need to close everything. Do we have everything for the kitchen to start cutting it up? You, you, but you had to cut them, no? I cut them. Oh, you did it? Oh, nice! Then two units on mm -hmm. the side. Two units on the side, but the units, are, these are, is this 300 deep? Yes. This looks very deep, Bartek. It looks like a lot, man. Fine, but this is perfect for, store. I don't have any storage in here. And so the same, the same sort of thing will be there. All right, cool. And then we'll make the doors. Yes. And 600 each. I'm good to go. Under, you, under unit, yeah? Yeah, but I need it. You need, okay, yeah. Tell me now and tell me you need it. Thank you. I like how this is going for my boardroom table. Two giant A's with a piece of glass on the top. I like the direction this is going in. Uh, what, is it coming powder form or we need to mix it? Or how's it coming? Like putty. So why don't you tell them what wall to do first. I want to show you this quickly before I go. Now it's done properly. Well, uh, I don't really know what exactly we're supposed to do in this sort of weather. Obviously, I'm not shook, but that is a lot of rain and hailstones. Uh, the yard is going to be completely drenched. So is everything else. Luckily for me, I managed to keep my hair dry. I don't want to look like a drowned rat. So, uh, yeah, rainy Monday.
No, I won't. I'm running the rain with my new camera, you know. It's weather sealed, Daniel. You basically threw it on the top shelf. It's weather sealed? Who said it's weather sealed? Yeah, it's weather sealed. Bro, but not weather sealed. Take that chance! Tuesday morning, I'm not in the yard. I am having a meeting with my team about how we're moving forward and a couple of other exciting ventures. The future is bright and my team are spoiling me. Can you imagine? They've got this room. I'm in this room. I'm living life. Get this, guys. Get this. <laughs> Man's taking off his shoes at a meeting. Can you imagine? Sofas, coffee. I'm living life. And then just cuts through. See the knees are getting. The power's coming back. I'm telling you. I'm going to set this as... They forgot that I'm a tropical people. Even though I'm not in my setting, I like to have my settings here. You know when someone gets in your car and they change all the settings on your radio, the bass and the treble and all that? I like to be in a room that's about 24, 25 degrees. So that's a... Uh, and it's actually 18 and a half degrees. Man put me in a room at 18 and a half degrees and didn't give me a jacket, can you imagine? So being in this sort of environment, it gets me out of the frame of mind in the yard and not that it's a bad thing, but nobody can come and grab me out of this meeting. Uh, my attention can't be taken away. I can fully focus. I'm gonna stay here till we get through our complete agenda. Then I'll make my way back to the yard. Why are you laughing? Because there's no agenda. There is an agenda. <laughs> That's great content. Are you rolling, so... Every, but what are you doing? Every, every one hour. Oh, no, sorry, we're serious. This is a serious team. Every, that is my team for you. Yeah, and there is an agenda, but it's up here. And <laughs> so we'll be going back to the yard afterwards. Thank you very much for that, Ara. What are you saying? You crossed it in, I need to bang that in the top corner, yeah? That's an alley-oop. Yeah, things were going a little bit lopsided and wonky, but we've managed to straighten it up. There's so much going on, guys, which I don't want to expose at the moment unlike this exposed brickwork. Future's bright, everything's very positive. Stay with me, we are definitely going on a journey. Sage allows you to snap or scan your receipts and documents so you never get slowed down by, by paperwork again. <laughs> Every time I do it, I have to scrunch up a new piece of paper, don't I? All right, cool. Ready? Sage allows you to snap or scan your receipts and documents so you never get slowed down by paperwork again. That, that, you, you got that, yeah? You made that work. Yeah? yeah you made that work, yeah? Yeah, made that work. Cool. Did it hit the lens? It did hit the lens, yeah, bruv, what do you think man misses? Reports and forecasts, reports and forecasts that allow you to make data-driven and confident. The next best thing is real-time automatic dashboards. Reports and forecasts allow you to make data-driven decisions for your business. No. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> I ain't holding anyone's hand. It's behind the scenes, yeah? Yeah, you know what it is? I have to do this shot where it says, uh, Sage will even hold your hand. And they were trying to see what it will look like. And I ain't holding anyone's hand. I told Glenn and Frey to hold hands, but they won't hold hands. So I'm not holding anyone's hand in it. Yeah, but that makes sense because that hand would be there on the person. The people would be like this and then, of course they would. That's exactly what you just did. Yes. That was perfect. Well, that's, that's right. Really yeah, yeah. I forgot what the line is. I hold on, one second. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me just remember what the line is. Sage will even hold your hand. They're on. Ah! Sage will even hold your hand. The team are... Simon's making me laugh, man. They'll even hold your hand. Sage's team are there to support. Did I such a... Sage's advisors are on hand for support. They'll even hold your hand. Sage's team are on hand for support. Advisors. Sage's advisors. Sage. Sage's advisors. Are what? On hand. I can't say hand again. And they'll even hold your hand. Sage's advisors are on hand for support. Yeah, they it does that. say hand, okay. yeah. They'll even hold your hand. Sage's advisors are on hand for support. Wednesday, uh, back in the city of London all day. Um, Parking is a real problem around here. Uh, today, the city is looking a lot busier. Uh, sun is shining. A uh, really good day of meetings so far, but there's plenty more to go. I love being in the city. It's, um, it's not somewhere where I've spent a lot of time, but very inspirational. Um, there's a lot of financial institutions and other companies, not a lot like the ones in our industry. You know, Asheville, we're very ground roots. Um, in the thick of things, but to see the hustle and bustle down here, very inspirational, loving it. 
What I'm not loving is the parking down here. Uh, the parking is a real problem. I managed to go and get myself a parking ticket again because I can't find where I should park. Uh, trouble is, if you get a parking ticket, the cost of the parking ticket, if you work out what it costs to pay to park the entire day, you're actually better off with a parking ticket. Go figure. Not sure if I'll have enough time to get back to the yard. Um, having a little spy around here. There are some lorries down here. This is a long way from home for Asheville to be coming down into the center of London. But you know, if the price was right, we would do it. Yeah. Good man, thank you. I'm glad to see I'm in the city and people are still watching Asheville, yeah? Yeah, watch I mean, what? Hey, all of them, since we started. Since we started. Are you watching yeah. since we started? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah. What's your name? Jamie. Jamie, good to meet you, mate. You too. What do you do down here? Pest control. Are you pest control, yeah? yeah. Ah, what, vermin? Or all sorts of, what, rats, pigeons? Yeah, yeah. No pigeons, we don't do pigeons. But no we, pigeons. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on foot. Oh, you're on foot, yeah? Yeah, but... Is it easier for you to get round here on foot? Yeah. Because you can't park anywhere, no, can yeah. you? So I, I do EC2, EC3, okay. EC4, WC1, yeah. WC2. Okay. Everywhere. And you just you just train, go around bus, on walk. train, bus, yeah. walk. Bike, and and what, you've got what you need in your bag and yeah. you just... Oh, good yeah, man, yeah. good man. You busy? Always. Always busy, yeah? Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Good luck to you, Jamie. Guys, isn't that great? I was recording <laughs> another man who watches Asheville Weekly. Uh, this Jamie who's in pest control, who is going about his daily business. I love when people come over and they give us a bit of feedback on the shows. Like I said before, when people say that it inspires them, it inspires me that they're inspired and then I inspire more, if that makes sense. Well, I try to inspire more. So let's get back in and get on with these meetings. I'm in the yard, the train is coming in. Uh, guys, you guys are gonna see this a week later because on Sunday, this is coming out with me explaining how we're gonna do weekly moving forward. So I can show it to you, it doesn't matter. And imagine this, I walked across and I went on the Weybridge when I was making my way up here and Simon asked me if this was my first communion shirt. How could this be my first communion shirt? I mean, how could it? First time I've ever had a shirt at work and there's a reason why I don't wear a shirt to work because I've managed to spill coffee all over it already. Well, I did say on the outro of 32 that I might have to swap the hoodie for a shirt. I was in the city yesterday and I wasn't wearing a shirt, but today I'm in the yard and I'm wearing a shirt. Don't quite make sense, but um, working on a couple of things. Uh, I'm gonna be in and out all day. Uh, train is being offloaded successfully. Uh, very windy day out here, but uh, the material is nice and wet, so we're not getting any dust at all. Just turn around, make sure I wasn't getting egg on my face there. All working well in the yard. Uh, Terry and Cam are doing all of the transport. We had a delivery from Southern Grove, which was the brackets for the TVs that you saw earlier in the week. So big up Southern Grove again and big up High Life. And my office is progressing nicely. Uh, they are now putting some Venetian polished plaster on two of the walls and the ceiling. Progress all round, very happy. Tell me when, tell me when you've taken one so I can change my pose. Say. So, so uh, do you reckon this is from my first communion in this show? <laughs> it looks like it's from like a tuxedo or a <laughs> <laughs> it was the only shirt to fit. Just walking back to the office. Oh, look behind me. It's Smedici. Smedici. Lovely smile from him. I don't want to go, come close to you after he's bullying you. I'm bullying you. Oh, no? uh, well, you don't want to come close to me because they're bullying me online. Well, thank you, Patrick. I appreciate that. Yeah, you see? Smidici cares. Smidici doesn't want to stand near me because he read the comments and the people in the comments were bullying me because I called him Smidici, so he's afraid to stand near me in case people bully me. Smidici cares. We appreciate that. See you later, Patrick. So Noel has just asked me if I'm going to a Teletubby convention. I don't quite get it, but I know it's definitely a derogatory remark. Need to get changed. A few bits I've got to do and I don't want to get any more stains on my white shirt. Uh, last night, I managed to train. I'm on a journey to get to a deadlift of 300 kilos. Now, normally when people are deadlifting, they do it once and they say they could do it. For me to say I can do a weight when I'm deadlifting, I need to do five sets of five. So last night I did 240 kilos. I didn't have a belt on, but when I'm wearing a belt, I should be a lot stronger. So not next week, week after, I'm gonna go for a quarter of a ton, which is 250 kilos. And then I'm gonna try and do 300 ton in this, 300 kilos, 300 ton, you know. <laughs>
Whee! And then I'm going to go for 300 kilos in the summer and see where we go from there. As long as I can stay injury free. Shout out to a gentleman named Pedro who watched the sweeper restoration video and he noticed the number plate. Uh, Pedro had our sweeper in 2012 working at Guernsey Airport. So he sent us a few pictures of our sweeper when it was brand new. It's Friday and I'm in the yard. It's not raining as much today, but it's very, very, very windy. Uh, going over to the other yard to have a look at how we're getting on. Um, we need to clean the yard up a bit because you remember a while ago we had to make a clear walkway. So now there's a definite walkway that um, the guys from GB Rail Freight, the shunt, as they could walk down the side. Well, we're working again now trying to make that walkway before the train comes in tomorrow. Uh, I was meant to pop down to Castle Shadow Ambush today, but I really do not have the time, so I'll jump on FaceTime with Dudek later and he can show me the progress. Working on getting that walkway nice and clean. Um, Somehow the bucket has ended up on the train tracks. Not sure why, but I assume the 26 tonners up there and they must have put the grading bucket on it and the grading bucket was over there before. So I assume they put this here out of convenience. That won't be here tomorrow when the train comes. I can see some progress already. We've already lifted up some material. We just need to step back slightly from the train because the carriages slightly overhang. So the wheels sit on the tracks exactly and the carriages overhang. So we don't want any derailments or anything like that. Buckets are right back. I didn't even know it was here. Gonna do a little check. Yes, I can see it's been strengthened in the corners. I can see it's been strengthened here. This one didn't have any cracks around this area and it's been given a nice lick of paint. Perfect. That means now both the LH60 buckets have been strengthened. Um, they're both in perfect working condition. This one had a few issues previously um, with the ram slightly leaking. And then I think that we must have over tightened it on one of the fittings and the O-ring came out and there was a problem with one of the grommets. So I believe this has probably been tested so we should have no leaks at all now on it. What's happening? Okay. No. I'm just checking the drawing. Show me how we're getting on, please. Show me what's happening since okay. the last time I was there. I don't have time to get there today. Let's start from this one, yeah? Yeah. We installed some steels. Oh, to support the front extension? Yes, because we have to support just to put other steel across, yeah? Okay. That's only support. Yeah. And we have delivery of the coping stones. Oh, we got the coping stones. Fantastic. Oh, so we are putting the coping stones. Yeah, that's great. Nice. Oh, I like that. That looks good. And yes. From the roof, you can see we start with another roof. Yeah. That's the roof on the changing room shed, yeah? Exactly. Yeah, you we might... have some water in the Yeah, we have water in the swimming pool because it's rained, not because it's a swimming pool, but yeah, cool. <laughs> we have half of the bathroom done. Oh, half of that bathroom done, yeah. Great. Yeah, we have nice niche. Ah, the niche is, okay. Uh, the guys going above the bar. Yeah. And now they're going to start with the niche. Uh, so we're going to do the niche and finish it off, but we started so we could use full-size tiles from our position and then yes. we used the offcuts to do the bottom bit. Okay, understood. Yeah. Exactly. And then you have the access panel to do. Okay. Are we are we tiling the access panel or has they got a plastic one or ready made one? Uh, we're going to make it, uh, the panel from the timber okay. and you have also shadow gap on the bottom of the LED strips. There's a shadow gap on yeah, on the bar filler panel? Like 100 by one. 100 by 100 box. Fine, the okay. Bottom, yeah? Fine. When you go downstairs, you can see the support. Yep, temporary support in place. Cool. The first one, yeah? Yep. After we install three of them, we're gonna put under the sketch steel 203 by 203. Okay. With the plate on top for support the cavity. That's another room ready for plaster. Yep. Let me make it ready. We have Again, LED strips in the ceiling. Yeah. All the way around. And all the walls ready for plaster. Okay, nice. We done the first ceiling in the cinema room. Oh, wow. Show me how the floor looks. Show me how my lovely new screed looks. Okay. And we have also delivery of glass for bifolds and the windows. Okay, but so basically they've the delivered the glass, but they're going to deliver the frames and the mechanisms later and the bifold company will build it on site. Yes. Cool. Right. Because they're too big, they're like seven meters 
long. Yeah, they can't begin in the van. They have to build up on the place. Fine. We have plumbing. <coughs> Basically, grease is coming down to ground floor and going close to the boiler. Okay. You have all the pipe from ground floor. Yep. And you have to go through the wall and he's in the garage, basically in the boiler room, yep. Fine. And we start work, one of the wall. Yep. On this wall you have the plaster. And guys start to build up another wall. Mm -hmm. With just the sitting area, yeah, next to the window. Fine, yeah, like the... With like the... 45 centimeters of bed. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. See you later. Bye. Progress nicely this week at Castle Shallow Lambus. I'll go down next week and have a look and see how we're getting on. But even without me there, Dudek and the boys are more than capable. I just like to have a grasp on everything that's going on. I could get away with doing a lot less because uh, obviously Yanni's a friend of mine. But it's better to have a grasp on the jobs, know exactly what's happening. So, you know, if you're quizzed by your client or they ask you anything, um, you can answer without saying, oh, let me just check or let me have to call you back. So, yeah. Plenty of work to get on with here now. Saturday and I'm in the yard. We have a sound engineer and a director here today. We are filming for something. And of course, just to be awkward, I'm not gonna tell you what that is. Monumentous, huge, as they say, this is it. So yeah, very happy about it. Looking forward to it. And I've got some extra kit in the yard. What, again, I'm not gonna show you because it will give away what we're filming for. See, this is the proper sound equipment what this man has. I'm not going to pretend to understand how it works. You've got your own channel here, mate. I've got my own channel? Yeah. Ah, oh, you named it as well. Uh -huh. I feel very special. Yeah. I've never actually spoke into like one of those things, so how high will that be above my head? This? Uh, that? Yeah. Just out of frame, so wherever he's, if I can work out where his frame is. Yeah, wherever his frame is, okay. Just to be or not to be. So you pick up on that sort, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a flying hedgehog. Yeah. Will has upgraded to no longer have a shoelace, which is what some of you said that he used in the video uh, when we went to the cherry picker. You know, guys, I love cool stuff like this. I love machinery. I love to come and test it out. We are strapped in. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere. Click here to watch that video. Will now has a full harness. I'm serious. Because he's serious. Get that? Because he's serious. I shall return. Still filming while the train's being offloaded. Uh, train was actually late today, so we have limited time to offload it. Um, if it does go back where carriage is loaded, it's not our fault. We've already sent an email. Um, the train driver spoke to control and they've managed to extend it by an hour, but it's still not going to help. There's definitely some carriages that are going to go back loaded. Filming is going very well. It's good to be working with a sound engineer and a producer. Uh, they get the best out of you. You need to do the shots over and over and over and over again, but they get that perfect shot and hopefully the end result will be worth it and fantastic. Everything going well, apart from the sun coming in and going out, coming in and going out, it changes things a bit when you're filming, but you know how it goes at Asheville. Difficult takes a day, impossible takes a week. Right, Will. That's it for Asheville Weekly, episode 33. The weather was brutal this week, but we found a way to overcome and deliver. It's been getting me down thinking about the end of weekly, but then I remembered that nobody cares and that I should work harder. So I'm happy that we found a solution. And even though I spent one third of my week in meetings, I feel refreshed, energized, and seriously optimistic. Click here for the Asheville website. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to see a video on me explaining my thought process behind changing Asheville Weekly. And click here for last week's episode, which was number 32. I might even bring back Asheville story time, you know? Boom, home run.